Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Jimmer. This is Ace Combat, and uh, in the earlier video, I had a uh, big brain moment, and uh, I screwed up the the bracket. Um, I put uh, the top four aesthetic uh, vehicles in instead of the top four overall vehicles. Um, I was just I mixed them up. They're they're basically the same. The uh, the only difference is that the uh, the top four um, aesthetics uh, were Mimicry, Drew, Ipsock, and Harness, and uh, in the or the I, don't know, I mixed that up. I think I mixed it up again. Basically, uh, Dragon Slayer was in the uh, top for aesthetics, and Harness was in the top for um, overall score. So I yeah, so I accidentally swapped Dragon in for Harness. So, uh, in order to make up for that oversight, I'm going to give Harness some uh, battles here. Um, we'll see, uh, we'll put him up against the uh, first place and see how he does. If he can win that, then uh, we'll, we'll call him the winner. If not, we'll just keep moving down and that way we'll have a uh, final overall uh, top, um, we'll, we'll have the, like, the top four positions figured out. So yeah, apologies for that, especially to Harness. as. Uh, it was not intentional, just a uh, screw up on my part. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll get this started. These are, uh, we've already seen all the other crafts, but these are Harness's XF77s. Very kind of like futuristic, remind me of something out of uh, like Space Invaders or Galaga, like 80s, like uh, arcade, um, like shooter game, or uh, like space games. But uh, they're very effective, lots of missiles, and uh, ooh, actually, wow, look at that, already taken out one of the Sirocco's. So yeah, it might, uh, <laughs> might actually be the winner. That's how there is a Sirocco still alive. And uh, as we saw, Sirocco is very, very effective, so... See if it's able to turn this around. Oh, just a tiny bit of damage there, but it looks like critical. Uh, cannon shots right there and they sent this XF-77 into a spin oh there we go some more cannon shots on the other one didn't look like they landed though or if they did didn't do enough damage to destroy any blocks So why isn't this one picking up DQ time? Oh, it's just picking it up real slow. And there it is, down in the drink. Oh, it does have balloons, though. And I'm not sure. It looks like it's having trouble getting out. There it goes. So I have enough time out. Yeah, as you can see, the, the damage. It's only 0.3%, but uh, just lost, must have clipped a control surface and was no longer able to fly correctly. And here we go. Yeah, so those Sirocco's are just so good at. Uh, I mean, they're not especially. I mean, they're fast, but they're not especially fast, but they just turn so tightly. They're just always right on your tail. Yeah, and the flares, you can see those flares are uh, being very effective here. <laughs> XF-77 is also very evasive. You can see he just keeps dodging all the missiles. Oops, Rocco up into space, that's dangerous. 
picks up a little DQ time. Yeah, it's, it's taking some damage, so it's probably not flying at 100%. Oh, and there we go. That missile landed and uh, took out the uh, XF-77. So Drew wins the first round, but uh, very close battle. Get this reset and get round number two underway. This time both Sirocco's make it through that uh, initial pass and this uh, 70, XF-77 is getting peppered. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it had both, with both Sirocco's on its tail, just not able to dodge everything. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, two Sirocco's, one XF-77 left. And there we go. Eh? So. That is a win for Drew. Holds on to that championship crown. Well deserved, but a good showing by Harness. Let's keep on moving down the uh, the queue. So next up we have the Mimicries. which finished in second place and were the uh, had the highest aesthetic score best looking uh, clean in the tournament and very combat effective don't let that uh, fool you they are deadly lots of missiles being exchanged here Oh, there we go. Missile connected on that XF-77 and just one left. Missile landed there, but uh, it seems like it just kind of glanced off. Missile just barely, barely missing. <laughs> oh man, the dodges are real. It seems like those mimicries are racking up DQ time. So if this goes long. Oh! <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. Kamikaze. So, first round goes to the mimicry. We'll get this reset and get round number two underway. Oh, wow. And a quick win there for uh, Mimicry. Both XF-77s taken out on the first pass. So that means we're going to keep moving down. I think our, our last entry is going to be Ipsoc. This is the uh, Dodo and Puffin by Ipsoc. So this is the battle for third place.
Oh, the dodo. You can see the dodo off in the distance eating some missiles. Yeah, and that has been, uh, I mean, it did well in the regular um, season, but here in the finals, the uh, Puffin, Puffin and Dodo, Ipsox entry, has kind of suffered from the same problem. It wants to get a uh, certain distance before it uh, turns and engages, and um, its opponents are just too fast and agile. It can't shake them off its tail. So it kind of is always in this position where it is sort of running away, giving uh, some somewhat easy shots to its opponents. That said, I don't think the there's any guns. I don't believe the XF-77s have any guns. I think they're purely a missile entry, so in this case, not really able to take advantage. Yeah, you can see if they had some cannons here, they could just keep uh, chipping away and eventually down the puffin. But as it is, it's just sort of a race at this point. Missiles are trying. Oh, and a collision. So the XF-77s actually ran into each other. Yeah, this one might actually go the distance. So it looks like this uh, XF-77 is in a fairly stable spin here. It's not losing health to, and the, uh, the Dodo is just not able to, to track. I mean, it's, it's spinning in such a tight circle. Yeah, the gun just really doesn't have a chance, and the missiles are also seem to be uh, unable to uh, lock on. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Sort of stole that one from the uh, clutches of defeat there. So, congratulations for winning the first round, and uh, we'll get this reset and get round number two underway. Wait, did we already have autos? That was the first round, right? Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of just making this like it's close to my bedtime. And I wasn't planning on recording any more videos. But uh, I did, I was pointed out to me that I had uh, screwed up the bracket. So I just have a little bit of time right here and I wanted to get that fixed. There we go, the XF-77 takes out the, the Dodo. Puffin is running away. Yeah, this is... Is this the third one? Did the... Yeah, this is the third one. So the, this is what happened last, in the first battle. And then the XFs crashed into each other. And the Puffin won. The Puffin or Dota, I don't remember which one. And then last round, the uh, Puffin and Dota got taken out. So yeah, this is the third and final round. So I guess the, the Puffin just needs to keep running away and wait for the uh, XFs to crash into each other. It's a uh, proven strategy. Let's see if it's able to pull it off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, 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 and there it is. <laughs> All right, so congratulations to Ipsock. Uh, hangs on to his third place position. Good old Sister Harness. And uh, once again, apologies for the uh, mix up. 
um, and uh, overall uh, really nice entry and uh, did well um, both in aesthetics and combat ability and uh, looks like uh, doesn't really change the outcome of the tournament thankfully so I don't look like as big of a dink in the uh, first video but uh, yeah that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed some uh, bonus battles on your Sunday and uh, I'll see you next time